Hi, I'm Neely Manemi. For a case study on interpersonal communication ethics, I chose the helpfully constructed film, The Core. My first finding was that Western individualism leads to communicative habits that disrupt pursuit of a common good. This leads right into the second finding, that demand and misuse of interpersonal skills are key tactics for those who privilege their individual good over the collective good. One character, Zinsky, has a long-standing habit of communicative demand. Let's take a look at a clip and see what that particular habit brings him, other than protection and promotion of his career. Hello, friends. To 
see how this translates to everyday communication, we need only shift our focus from the movies to global politics. Recent comments by the head of Russian Parliament's Foreign Affairs Committee show the implications of neglecting interpersonal communication ethics. The problem is that certain countries, the United States included, probably the United Kingdom included, try to promote certain national interests. The interests they promote are the interests of staying as the leading nations, the interests of ruling mankind and preserving the right to determine who is right and who is wrong, who is to stay in power, who is to be deleted in power. This is completely wrong, I believe. The parallel of this quote to the warning of Arnett, Fritz, and Bell to avoid, quote, the oughts of telling the other what the good in life should be, end quote, is unarguable. Whatever your opinion of Russian foreign policy, it is unrealistic to assume this opinion is an isolated one. Without improvement of, of interpersonal communication ethics by our political leadership and diplomatic corps, this impression of us will continue. We would do well to consider that there is no script for everyday communication, whether in politics, work, or with family and friends. For that, we have only the compass of interpersonal communication ethics to guide us. Thanks for listening. I hope it was interesting, and I look forward to everyone else's presentations.